Chloe Demir from Save the Victory Roll. Um, today is going to be a fun look into a brand that I've been really loving, I would say for about, I think almost a year now. Um, so we're going to be trying or playing with the British Museum NZC collection. Um, so I got in PR, Last year, I got the powder and then I got the lipstick to try out and I just love it. So since then, I've bought myself several more powders. Um, I tried the Lunar Collection and I did a video on that. Um, so if you wanna check that out. And then um, I decided to reuse some of those products because I've got the beautiful foundation. I've got this wonderful eyeliner and um, I've used a different lipstick, but this time I'm using the one from the British Museum Collection as well. I've been wanting this particular palette for a while. This is I think the first one that sold out and finally was able, it came back into stock and I was finally able to get it. And as you can see from probably the, probably a previous snippet of the video that I took of this beautiful packaging and the contents up close. So anyways, this is the look that I created. Um, if you'd like to see more, um, please keep on watching though sigh technology there was a small portion of the video that cut off and I was happily putting makeup away on and then I noticed that it had shut off so so there's gonna be a small snippet that's missing but other than that I think you get to see most of how the product works and performs and me as usual fumbling my way through it but uh, yeah so if you would like to see more about this makeup line, this launch, just this brand in general, keep on watching. Alrighty, see you in the next clip. Bye. Okay, so now we're going to start with base. I've already put my primer on and I've put some wax through the brows. So we're just going to take our sponge and then we're going to use this beautiful foundation from ZZ. Um, I got this, this was part of the Lunar New Year collection. I mean, I know today's focus is on the beautiful British Museum collab with ZZ, but they didn't have a foundation or at least not one that I saw. So this is one we're going to use. We're gonna try as much as possible to use the products by, all products by ZZ or, yeah, or independent brands, small brands. That's what we're gonna try here. So, so I'm gonna start with a pump here. And here we're gonna go. So that's just with one pump. I think I'm going to put on just a little bit more. You never know, we might try for full cake face today. All right, so a little bit more. Just a lot that has a pump. And pop. Okay, so then I'm going to put on a little concealer. I don't have a concealer from ZZ. So I'm just going to use a little bit of my Revolution Pro. Okay, so I do have a powder, um, but I for setting my foundation, I use a, a loose powder, but I will use this for doing my buffing at the end or near the end. So I'm going to take on my sponge. I'm just gonna take, I have in this cute little, container here. I'm just going to take a little of my RCMA powder and then we're just going to pop that on to set our makeup. There we go. Put my base on. Alrighty. So I don't have any bronzer or blush from the collection so I'm just going to be working on um, a new product that I've been trying the last few days which is the Love Yourself Beauty. And I'm going to start with a little bit of bronzer. And then I'm also going to use one of their blushes, which is this pretty cream um, peach blush. There we go. And then I'm going to use a little highlighter. I don't, again, I don't have anything from ZZ, but I do have one by CDE, which is also a Chinese makeup brand that I got around the same time as I got the, the foundation and a lipstick from um, the Lunar New Year collection and check that out. Look how pretty this is. That imprint in there, isn't that really nice? So it's kind of like 
highlighter and I guess I could use it a little bit as um, as a blush topper as well. It's just really pretty. Alrighty, so then my next step is going to be is I'm going to buff in the products and then using a big fluffy brush and from the British Museum collection, the beautiful translucent powder. And then the buff. Alright, that's nice, right? Okay, and then we're going to give a little spritz before we to set the face makeup. Using some Charlotte Strawberry. And then my cute little fan with a little doggo inside. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go and play with some eye makeup. So we're going to use this. I, I would probably have shown a clip at the beginning, but here is the beautiful palette with the onk and then it's like raised. It's so nice. And then wait till you see the inside. I've just left the frosting on the mirror so I don't blind anybody, but look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? And then it has the beautiful Ankh imprint here. And then in here, we've got the, it looks like the Eye of Horus or Anubis. And then um, we've got um, a Pharaoh at the top corner there. And then another God figure there, it's just so beautiful. So when I did my Lunar New Year look, I hadn't gotten this yet because this was the palette I wanted and it was, out, it was always out of stock. I guess it's the popular one, but it's just so pretty. All right, so let's try and play with this. So I do have a eye primer. It's just the Anastasia Beverly Hills. So what I'm going to start with is um, using the fluffy end of a Sigma brush here. I'm going to take this little, um, this color here, and then um, it doesn't seem to be names on them, which is okay. So it's just gonna be the more beige skin tone color. And then let's just pop that on to set the uh, primer. So this one nicely has a white, it has a super dark green, um, it's got a brown and then it's got like a neutral color so that way you can, um, like I said, lighten, darken and uh, blend out your looks. So let's just make sure, speaking of blending, it's all blended. Okay, so let's see what color we're going, what colors we're going to go to. The green. It's me, so greens. So there's the dark green, the light green, the shimmery green, and then this is a mix of different colors. So let's see, let's start with using this lightish green on the lid here. And then we're gonna just take a, another Spectum brush. This is the A12, and then we're just gonna pack some onto the lid. Well, that's really pretty. First color on our lid there. I think that looks that looks super nice. So let's just get it ready for the next color. And then I'm going to take my little thin little brush here. Um, this is um, an AOA brush. And then I'm going to go into the dark green color. And so as to not wreck the eye, I'm gonna go around the edges. To start. It's so pretty. So then I got a bit of a shape drawn out there and then I'm going to take another spectrum brush. This is the A17 I believe and then it's got the kind of the angle on it and then we're going to again go into that dark green. That went up, that went a little crazy really quickly. So what I like to do when things go a little bit wrong is I take another wet sponge. This is one from Kaleidos that has a nice tip on it. And then I can go in and I can go and clean up a little bit the mess I've made and then go in to see if I can correct. So it's usually they turn, looks turn out a little bit better if you have a plan, but I did not have a plan today. So let's try this again. All right, let's try the other eye. 
you can still go and do some um, repair work later. All right. Yeah, that side's definitely going way easier. So we're gonna have to try and fix up um, my right eye. Yeah, I'm definitely liking this side way better. But one side always seems to go better than the other. I don't know why. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back into that light green color that we used, and then I'm going to kind of match it up a little bit more on this side. That's way better, right? Yeah. All right. All right, so now let's just go see if I can fix this other eye a bit and then we'll come back. So just hold on tight. All right, well, that was great. I was nicely filming away and then I looked into the monitor and noticed that it stopped filming again a couple seconds in. No idea what's going on. So I guess instead of refilming it, I'll just kind of go over what I did. So I went and I fixed this eye that was a little bit wonky and tried to match up the shape a little bit better. I have one eye that droops a little bit more. So I went and tried my best to kind of make it make it batch and then I went in and I used the lightest shimmer there and then I popped that onto onto the lid and then underneath I did the dark the um, first color we used in the metal and then a little bit of this shade here on the front and then used a little bit more of the green on the inner corners so yeah sorry about that that, that stopped filming but then we can kind of see where I am right now and then I was just that one I noticed was I was just playing a little bit with my highlighter I decided that this one was not showing as much as I like so I went in and I got my Hojo highlighter this is a nice pinky one and I was just popping some of this on and then I noticed that the camera had shut itself off after like a minute so So there we go, a little bit more pink and blingy. Excellent. Alrighty, so there we go. So there's that there. Um, what I'm going to do now is, um, why don't I do lips and then I will go off camera. Oh no, I have eyeliner, so I could do lips, eyeliner, and then I'll go on ca off camera to put on lashes and mascara because I don't have any from the brands that um, I can use. And that's boring, who wants to see that on screen? And yeah, so for highlight or highlighter, look, speak. Um, for eyeliner, I had also got for this Lunar New Year, it came in this beautiful box, this um, black eyeliner pen here. That's gorgeous, look at that. All right, so let's go and put on a little bit of eyeliner. This is so nice and black, wow. There we go. Black liner. Um, where should I put the lid? Eh. All right, so there's that. And then for lipstick, I got also from the British Museum collection. So the powder and the lipstick I got in PR and the the found the foundation the um, eyeshadow palette I bought those myself. Oh, and the eyeliner as well. And then had this. I've used this lipstick a few times. It's so nice. It still has the beautiful imprint on there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is on there. And then this was this. Red 306. So we'll just lower it down because we do not want to break it. It's too beautiful. I mean, look at that. It's so, so gorgeous. So, like 
like so. And then where's our beautiful lid? So again, the packaging beautiful. They just do the nicest packaging. And then it's not just packaging, like, yeah, the packaging is for the win, but the products are also fantastic. I love this powder so much, I ordered two more. And then again, this beautiful packaging for the eyeshadow. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna go put some mascara on, put some lashes on, and then we can come back and have some final thoughts, all right? Okay, we'll be back in two seconds. We'll be like in three, two, one, and we're back. Alrighty, I decided just to put on a half lash so we can have a little bit of flutter, and then just some mascara on the bottom and some mascara on the top, and there we go. So here is our look using the British Museum and ZC collection, or at least the products that I have. You can get it through ZZ through their own website. You can go through AliExpress. Um, yeah, so this is it. I hope you like it. This is becoming one of my favorite brands. It's just so pretty. Like just the whole experience is just is so nice. So there we go. I hope you like it. If you feel so inclined to give us a like, follow and subscribe, maybe even hit that notification bell if you're interested. To, if you wanna see more from me, checking out some different makeup, that'd be awesome. If not, that's okay. We can still be friends. And I hope you're doing really well. And hey, if you've ever tried any of the um, ZC um, products, let me know, what did you think? Did you like them? Isn't the packaging luxe? Like, isn't it just fantastic? Or no? But if you say no, you're wrong. <laughs> just kidding. Alrighty, well, that's it from me. Hope you're having a great day and see you next time.